Meg stunned as Harry heckled and insulted as he presented Claus Invictus Games speech, never return. Harry the Duke of Sussex has faced a humiliating ordeal at the closing ceremony of the Invictus Games in Vancouver Whistler 2025, where he was booed and heckled by angry veterans, who told him don't come back here. Harry, who is not the founder and the patron of the Invictus Games, a sporting event for wounded injured or sick service personnel and veterans, was stunned and embarrassed by the hostile reception, which showed the discontent and the division, that he and his wife Meghan Markle the Duchess of Sussex have caused among the veterans and the public with their actions and statements, which have been seen as disrespectful disloyal and damaging to the military and the monarchy. Harry's speech which was supposed to be a heartfelt and inspirational message for the veterans and the public was a disaster as he was interrupted and insulted by some of the veterans, who attended the event, who demanded that he and Meghan return the money and the titles that they have received from the taxpayers and the royal family. Harry who looked shocked and offended by the reaction, tried to defend himself and his wife but only made things worse as he angered and offended more veterans and royal fans. Harry, who said that he and Meghan had earned and deserved their money and their titles and that they had nothing to apologize for was met with more boo and cheers as well as with some signs and banners that read, Harry and Meghan, go away. Invictus Games, not Sussex Games. We are Invictus, not Sussex. Harry you betrayed us. Meghan you are not welcome here Sussex is out of Canada and get rid of the Sussexes. Harry's speech which was met with silence and discomfort from some of the celebrities and dignitaries who were present was a clear indication of the backlash that Harry and Meghan have faced from the veterans and the public with their actions and statements, which have been exposed and criticized by many sources such as the subreddit our Saint Meghan Markle Twitter and the web and on YouTube. Harry and Meghan who have signed lucrative deals with Netflix, Spotify and other media platforms as well as expressed controversial opinions on various social and political issues, have been accused of being selfish irresponsible and ungrateful and of exploiting and undermining the royal family in the country. Harry and Meghan have also been the source of many scandals and controversies such as their explosive interview with Oprah Winfrey in March 2022 where they made several allegations against the royal family, including racism neglect and bullying. They also revealed that they had felt suicidal and had been denied help by the palace and that they had been trapped and unhappy in the royal system. They also said that they had found freedom and happiness in their new life. Harry's speech which was supposed to be a celebration and a recognition of the courage and the resilience of the wounded, injured or sick service personnel and veterans and their families was a debacle as he alienated and insulted the very people that he claimed to support and represent. Harry, who was confronted and challenged by some of the veterans who attended the event, who told him to don't come back here was left speechless and embarrassed as he tried to end his speech and leave the stage but was followed and booed by some of the veterans who continued to yell at him and throw things at him. Harry's speech which was covered and reported by various local and national media outlets as well as by some international and online media platforms has drawn a lot of attention and reaction from the public and the authorities. Some people have praised the veterans for their courage and integrity and for standing up for their rights and dignity. They have also criticized Harry and Meghan for their disloyalty and ingratitude and their arrogance and defiance they have also defended the military and the monarchy for their dignity service and tradition. Others have condemned the veterans for their harshness and cruelty and for protesting against Harry and Meghan. They have also sympathized with Harry and Meghan for their struggles and their choices and for their honesty and bravery. They have also criticized the military and the monarchy for their racism and coldness.